hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we will be understanding what are fuel cells and the best way to understand what is fuel cell is to consider an example of h2o2 fuel cell okay so let's understand its construction first so in the construction we take a vessel and in that vessel we take hot koh solution and in this hot koh solution we insert two electrodes one which is our anode and second one which is our cathode <coughs> now this anode and cathode electrodes are made up of porous carbon with platinum now why platinum is taken because platinum acts as a catalyst and due to this it fastens the reaction and now this carbon plus platinum electrodes are not going to react so who is going to react this h2 gas which is going to be added at the anode is going to react and this o2 gas which is added at the cathode is going to react and a small place is given for h2 mo molecules to evaporate so let's see first of all you need to keep in mind is that this h2 gas is a fuel and this o2 gas is an oxidizing agent now what is the meaning of an oxidizing agent since o2 gas is an oxidizing agent which means that it will undergo reduction and it is obvious that at cathode reduction takes place so let's understand the cell reactions ahead first we will understand the cell reaction at anode as we all know at anode oxidation takes place and what is oxidation oxidation is nothing but loss of electrons and who is going to lose electrons it is obvious that at anode there is h2 gas so h2 gas is going to lose electrons so h2 gas is not directly going to lose electrons instead this h2 will react with oh minus ions from where do we get this oh minus ions is this koh solution will dissociate into k plus and oh minus so this h2 gas will now react with this oh minus ions and will give us 4 h2 water molecules plus 4 electrons similarly at the cathode what is going to happen is that reduction is going to take place and reduction is nothing but gain of electrons so from whom does this cathode will gain electrons as we all know at anode 4 h2 molecules and 4 electrons are released okay so this 4 electrons will travel through this conductor and will reach the cathode now at cathode o2 gas is present so o2 gas will take those electrons so o2 gas will take those four electrons plus it will also take two h2 molecules out of four h2 molecules and it will form four oh minus ions these four oh minus ions are again used by this anode okay so it is reusable now i want you all to observe one thing carefully over here here at cathode cathode is only taking two h2o molecules out of the four h2o molecules released at the anode so there are two h2o extra molecules present okay am i right so these extra two h2o molecules will go into this koh solution and since this koh solution is hot therefore this h2o molecules will evaporate therefore there is a place given for the h2 molecules to evaporate now we have understood the reaction at anode and the reaction at cathode now for understanding the net cell reaction what is net cell reaction net cell reaction is nothing but the sum of reaction at anode plus sum of reaction at cathode so the net cell reaction is nothing but we need to just add both of these like uh, equations okay after adding both of these equation we have left with 2h2 plus o2 which is gives rise to 2h2o and this reaction is nothing but a combustion reaction where the combustion of fuel what is our fuel h2 is taking place now moving ahead uh, let me tell you all that this reaction sorry this cell is going to work as long as you provide h2 gas and o2 gas so as long you as you provide h2 gas and o2 gas all these reactions are going to take place and the moment you stop their supply the reaction will stop and the electricity will not be further moving through this conductor now let's understand 
its standard cell potential now what is cell potential if you don't know what is cell potential then i have already uploaded a video you can find the link in the description box so the standard cell potential is nothing but the cell potential where under standard conditions so what are standard conditions the electrolytic solution is present in one molar the pressure is one atmospheric pressure and temperature is 298 kelvin so with the help of this nernst equation e not cell is equals to e not of a cathode minus e not of a anode we get to know that e not of e not of a cell is equals to 0.4 minus and since e not of a anode is always minus therefore this minus minus becomes plus and we are left with e not of a cell is equals to 1.23 volts so the cell potential under standard conditions is 1.23 volts now moving ahead let's understand its advantages the first advantage is that energy of combustion of fuels is directly converted into electrical energy as we all know that the combustion of h2 is taking place right so this combustion energy is direct, directly converted into electrical energy as we are getting the electrons to that conductor okay whereas in the galvanic cell we were seeing that chemical energy was getting converted into electrical energy so this is the difference between the galvanic cell and the fuel cell going on to the next point no discharge of electrodes taking place which means that the the amount of h2 and o2 gas we supply that much amount current we will get okay whereas in the galvanic cell what was going to happen is that that electrodes were deep into into the electrolytic solution and they were getting decomposed and initial and they were all being shrinked so we need to replace the electrodes here we don't need to replace the electrodes here the amount of h2 and o2 gas we supply that much current we are going to get the third point it is that non polluting what was the product you have seen over here that h2 gas was h2o was released into the air okay we have shown now that h2 was allowed to evaporate so h2o is released into the air which is non polluting therefore this fuel cell has the biggest advantage over galvanic cell that it, it is non polluting and it is good for our atmosphere the last and the most important that its efficiency is 70% whereas the efficiency of thermal plants is only 40% there's a mistake over here it is only 40% so the efficiency of this our fuel cell is 70% that is our output is 70% better and the output of the thermal plants is only 40% here's a correction so my bad here's a correction that it is 40% now moving ahead let's understand its drawbacks now what are these drawbacks the first drawback is that h2 gas is hazardous while handling it is not safe for us and the cost of preparing h2 gas is also very high the third drawback is that uh as we have seen that standard cell potential was 1.23 volts okay but we don't get 1.23 volts actually we get uh, something less than 1.23 volts so these are the drawbacks now let's see where are these fuel cells actually being used that is our applications the first main application is that for providing electrical power in the space program the second one is that it is used in the spacecraft now how do the spacecraft it is used uh, it is used by the astronauts for producing drinking, drinking water for them and the third one is that it is used in automobile industries for certain experiments going ahead with the fourth point that is it is used in some of the power generators but the cost of this power generators is too high now i want you to tell i want to tell you something that some professors might confuse you by drawing this sort of diagram this diagram is also same as this diagram see here also h2o h2 gas uh, sorry h2o was allowed to evaporate here also h2o was al is allowed to evaporate here also you are having koh similarly your here also you are having koh similarly here h2 gas is allowed inlet here also h2 gas is allowed to inlet here o2 gas is allowed to inlet and here also o2 gas is inserted similarly this this electrode i have shown by this electrode okay this is for the better understanding because in the maharashtra government textbook 
this diagram is given okay so this porous carbon which is made up of platinum here also this is the same thing which is porous carbon impregnated with catalyst cat catalyst which is platinum and i want to tell you guys that this diagram is actually for the simple simplified diagram and it is for your better understanding but if you see conceptually that this is the correct diagram so i prefer to uh, see the take the difficult one and help you all to understand but i don't want to teach with the wrong diagram okay this is also same but actually this is just a simplified version and it is not the proper way actually to show uh, so teach the students so guys this was all about your h2 to fuel cell guys if you have liked this video then please do comment below do uh, uh, share with it with your friends and guys please do not forget to subscribe because if you all don't subscribe i won't be able to grow this channel and do like and share this video guys thanks for watching this video